Hey curl friends, it's Mickey B. Today we're going to talk about the bobby pin versus the hair pin. Which is which and what were they made for? As we all know, hair pins and bobby pins look similar to some degree, but they do have separate purposes. This is the bobby pin. As you saw, the bobby pin touches in the middle and it's designed to hold weight or anchor hair down. Bobby pins are also good for changing the direction of hair once you anchor it down. So if you want to create something like a French roll and you're going to take a big piece of hair and swoop it over, so you're changing the direction of the hair and uh, the bobby pins are good for that because they're stronger and they can anchor that down for you a lot better and hold it in place. And if you do choose to use it for that purpose, when you're really taking bigger chunks of hair to really anchor and weight it down, it makes more sense to use two hair pins instead of one. And when you use two, you want to crisscross them. So you want to stick one in this way and the other in that way. And it gives you double the support that you would normally get from using just one. This is a hair pin. The hairpin is used to secure hair in place once it's been anchored down by the bobby pin. If you want to open up a curl, fan out a curl, spread out the hairs, and put them in distinct locations, then the hairpin is the ideal instrument in which to do that. It's ideal because it's lighter in weight and it won't weigh the hair down in the same manner that a bobby pin will. So you can move your hair in all different types of positions after it's been weighted it down and anchored with the bobby pin and you want to open up say if I wanted to take this curl and maybe open it up and fan it around I can take the hair fluff it around and secure that with the hair pins and it won't add that weight to it it'll allow it to remain spread open and fluffed up while the bobby pin is securing the base of that whole curl or whole piece of hair a common situation where when someone's using um, <clears throat> Excuse me. When someone's using the bobby pins and the hair pins, where do I place them when I'm using them? What's the proper way to use them? The proper way to use a bobby pin first, let's start with that, is when you're when you have a piece of hair that you want to anchor down, wherever your finger is on your hair, you want to stick the bobby pin right there. So again, if you have a piece of hair, you always want to insert the bobby pin right where you're holding the hair. Okay? Most people insert the bobby pin next to it, either on the side or here or up the, you know, but not directly here. And what happens is when you do that, if you insert the hair where on the side of it, once you let go of that curl, the hair is going to shift positions to accommodate where you pinned it. If you're holding it here and you want your hair to be held right here in this position, you want to stick the hair pin straight down under that finger. Not here and not there. Because again, once you let go, the hair will shift to the new position. So the proper way to use the hair pin and the bobby pin is wherever you're holding the hair, you want to pin directly where you're holding. And then that should keep the hair in the position that you want to create the style that you're trying to achieve. I hope you enjoyed today's tips on the use of bobby pins and hair pins and the proper purpose of what each hair pin and bobby pins are made for. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section. Um, but that pretty much sums it up in a nutshell. And there is one thing that I'd like to share with you, just a word of caution. Bobby pins and hair pins are not made out of plastic. And because they are not made out of plastic, they can gradually, over time, break your hair off because of the metal, because of the metal that they're made out of. It's still sharp and it's still a metal and it can still do damage, but it's gradual damage. So you may not see damage right away. If you're using hair pins a lot, you may want to consider plastic hair pins, something 
finding a plastic alternative. I know they're out there. I don't have any to show you, but I know that, let me just say, I've read that they're out there. I haven't actually seen or held one in my hand. But if you can find a plastic alternative in the long run, that will be the best thing for your hair. The bobby pin mostly is what would be the problem because it's the one that clamps down on your hair and has the tight hold on it where your hair could rub up against it and gradually, gra and I say gradual because you're not going to notice breakage right away, but if you use them a lot over time, it can uh, contribute to the breakage of the hair. So knowing that now, use them conservatively if you have to use them. Don't use them when they're very tight in the hair and the hair could brush, move back and forth against it, kind of like a sawing motion against the metal where your hair could actually break off. So just use them, proceed with caution when you use them, or find a plastic alternative so that in the future you don't have to worry about it. All right, girlfriends, until the next time, I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a great day.